How's it going everyone? Welcome to Quest for Pixels Gaming. So today we're playing Pokemon Sword, the new update, the second part of the DLC. And what we're doing is the Dynamax Adventures. So the Dynamax Adventures are sort of like Max Raid Battles, but you don't use your own Pokemon. You have to use one of, like, rent one. And there's three, I think there's three total Max Raid Battles that you have to do. And at the end, you face off against one of the rares or the legendaries. Um, that's what we're gonna do here. So you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's kind of it's unique. I like it. Um, it's cool that they added a bunch of legendaries. So this is the first one I found, and this will be the third time I've done it. I haven't caught it yet, but it's Suicun or Su. I've never been able to pronounce it Suicune or Suicune, Suicune, I don't know. Either way, it's the dog, water dog. Um, like I said, this will be the third time I've done it. They're hard. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's it's a challenge because you really have to think on your feet. You, know, you stay on your toes. You have to think about type matchups, what you want to have at the end because you start out by renting one Pokemon and then as you beat a max raid battle, you can catch that Pokemon and you can trade it. So, say your first one, you face off against Pokemon X, and you beat it, you catch it, you can swap the Pokemon you have for the one you just beat. But you want to remember, or keep in your head, that what the, the type is at the end, or what the legendary type is, that way you have the right matchup when, if you get there. Um, but let's, uh, let's jump into this. I haven't done much with this new update. I just started it like a couple hours ago. I just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was really cool. So I'm going up against the water at the end. I don't want steel. I don't want ground. I guess I'll take Sea King. Oh, dang it! Raichu. Really? Can I back out? These these battles follow the same Dynamax battles or Max Raid battles where you only have 10 rounds. So you gotta work quick. Or make quick work of these Pokemon. Every time I've done it so far, it's been close each time. So I don't want to go up against grass. I'm fucking water. I'm gonna choose fairy. I guess we could have went up against the grass, and I could have got the grass type Pokemon. I mean, either way, I'm weak to them. Shouldn't have got this one. Damn it. Either way, whatever. We'll make the best of it. Hopefully, we can beat it this time, though. So I got Dynamax. So we're gonna do this. I think the way it works is each battle it rotates through which one starts with Dynamax. But I might be wrong because I think the last battle I was the only one that Dynamaxed once. And that was at the very end. So either people are getting Dynamax and not using it or it's just random. I mean you can build up your Dynamax meter. But, I don't know. First, I was thinking it kind of sucks to not be able to use one of your own die Pokemon, but I get the, you know, the hook of this mode. You know, since you're going to trade each time, then if you were doing that with yours, I guess either you'd just get it back at the end or you'd lose it, which would suck. But I've been playing the hell out of this game, though. So, I originally got it back right when it came out and played through the game. And last December, when me and my wife were out of town Christmas shopping, Somebody broke into our vehicle and stole my backpack, which had my Nintendo Switch and a couple games and my insulin, which is, was just wonderful because we were going, you know, to a serious town, big town. Uh, it was like you know, three hours away from our hometown, so we were already halfway there. And somebody stole my backpack with my insulin. Yeah, it was just a mess. But they stole my Switch, and I lost my save data for games like you know pokemon which sucked pro tip when you're doing these i think i mean i've caught every pokemon so far but you're in a cave so use a dust ball i mean i pretty much use dust balls and quick balls throughout the whole game because mainly i'm playing at night and after you beat the story mode it follows real time or you know real life time so if it's night in real time it's night in the game so I'm always using dust balls. All right, see, this is the where you can choose, like you can swap for it. I, I guess I, you know, I guess I should have swapped for the fairy because I want the electric. But I've been working on the Galar, Galar uh, Pokedex, and I'm up to 330 right now. So I only have 70 left. Um, I've only got three left to trade for. Um, I need uh, 
you know, the legendary dog for shield. I can't remember remember their names are complicated. Um, I need a Gumi and I need a Drampa, I think. Those are the only three I need. As far as shield exclusives go. But I've also been breeding because I want to try out I haven't played like Pokemon like competitive Pokemon since like the DS era games. So I was gonna try that out in Sword and Shield, not like you know big competitions or anything. But I figured it'd be cool to have a you know a competitive team and play some of those. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been trying to breed my competitive Pokemon, and uh, I was also trying to breed a shiny uh, Charizard or Charmeleon, but I've just been using those as trade fodder. But I've got a whole bunch of uh, Mimikus that have amazing stats because I was trying to get at least six perfect IVs. But so I've been gonna trade all them out too. But uh, the new Pokemon Home app on your phone with the trading is freaking awesome. I love it. And they brought back the GTS, which is amazing too. It makes it a lot easier to fill your Pokedex. So I think I'm gonna swap for this Minetric. We're doing pretty good. I got a good team this time. If you guys like these videos or like Pokemon videos, I mean, I really don't do anything specifically. I just play a lot of it. But if you guys like these videos, uh, let me know in the comments or like the video or subscribe, all that kind of crap. And uh, I'll definitely post more because it's it's got its hooks in me. Oh, it's a Munchlax. Ooh! Oh, no. So if we don't beat this, I am definitely keeping that Munchlax because I've been trying to catch a Munchlax for like the last three days. God damn, that's going to suck. Munchlax right here, but if I catch Suicide, whatever its name is, the Water Dog, I'm gonna keep that for sure. But damn it, I kind of hope we lose this one, or at least we lose the last battle. This would make catching Munchlax a lot easier, because I think he's only in Bridgefield with a five percent spawn rate. Somebody push OK. I swear to God, that sucks. So someone backs out, I bet it freaking screws everybody. So for my Pokedex, though, I think I've got maybe 20, I don't know, somewhere between 20 and 30 of the Pokemon already in my bank that I either just need to breed their first evolution or finish evolving them to their third evolution. There's quite a few of them that I already have that I need to finish doing that, but I wish there was a way... You could sort your Pokedex by uncaught and caught. That would be freaking awesome, but I've been just marking them down, making a list on my phone. Okay, somebody seriously back out. All right, well, I guess I'll give it a couple more seconds. Son of a bitch. All right, so that last one I had to back out because I literally sat there for like eight minutes and nothing happened. And, uh,. So I backed out, restarted, and the NPC you talked to had the nerve to tell me it wasn't nice of you to back out and leave your team hanging. So I restarted, we're back up to the last battle before the, uh, the, the, the final. I'm not in a very good position right now though. I've got a ground type Pokemon. I hope we can beat this, I can get that grass type though. Then we'd be, or at least one of us get it, because we'd be in a good position then because we got an electric type and a grass type if we get this one. Plus a normal type. Normal's decent across the board. Really still pisses me off that somebody had to back out. I guess it might have been the internet, so whatever, but Either way, it still pisses me off I missed out on much lax. Like, hopefully we can make it all the way to the end this time though. If not, I'd, I'm gonna throw the towel in because just luck is not on my side tonight. But the quick ball thing, that's really nice. I guess I've never really, I guess I knew, but I haven't played a Pokemon game like this, this hard for a long time. I mean, on a, like I, it was the DS era, the last time I played through a Pokemon game and attempted to finish the Pokedex. I think the only Pokedex I've ever finished was the first games. I did it in on Red when I first got Red back in like 97 or 98, whenever it came out. And then I did it again when Fire Red came out on the Game Boy SP or Game Boy Advance. 
But that's the only Pokedex I've ever finished. I'd really like to finish this one. I'm so close. There's gonna be a couple difficult difficult ones though, like I said. I need the legendary from from Shield. And honestly, if I could just find somebody that would trade it to me and I'd trade it right back, because I really don't want it. I just have to have it. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna check Reddit maybe, I don't know. If one of you guys would be willing to trade me and then trade back, I'd be more than grateful. I would even put up my Mew or my Mewtwo as collateral. That and a Drampa. I need a Drampa, and that was rare. But I don't know, I guess if all else fails, I'll just pick up shield and blast through the story mode. I've got enough Pokemon in this one that I could just put in Pokemon Home and then just trade, like, swap them in and out as I go. I mean, I would be able to beat that game pretty fast. Yeah, I don't know how you say it. Sukun or Sukun or Sui... 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 Cone? I don't know. I... I hate pronouncing Pokemon names. It's like a different language. I'm just gonna go with Sukun. The Water Dog. I can't remember what generation these are from. Three? I think it's three. There we go! Hoo, hoo, hoo. We got this shit this time. Let me know. So, uh, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments or whatever, Twitter, or wherever. But I was thinking about maybe doing a Pokemon series of just me finishing the Pokedex. Like, you know, nothing crazy cool or anything, but just uh, have somebody to talk to while I finish the Pokedex because I think these last, at least the last 50 are probably going to be a pain in the butt. Alright, now cross your fingers. Come on, Dust Ball, don't let me down. I really don't want to do this again. I'll go after a new one. We got it. Hell yeah! Suicune or Suicune. I'll look up the pronunciation for that. <laughs> Uh, why wouldn't I choose fucking the legendary? Yes. Hell yeah, new legendary. What do we get? Oh, just Dynite or I haven't figured out what this is for yet. Like I said, I haven't played. I did the first scene and then this one. Or got to this, the, whatever this is, the Dynamax Adventures. You get more of it for doing it as a group. I got Rayquaza in there, I forgot about that. Hell yeah. Alright, so that was the Dynamax Adventures, part of the new Crown Tundra DLC for, uh, for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a like. Like I said earlier in the video, let me know if uh, the Pokedex kind of series would be interesting to you. But until next time, I will catch you later.